Hello, and you're joining me on a partly started rest up. I'm just going to be mixing up some paint. What it is, is the refuge truck. And what had happened, I've already stripped in, it was in my stash for it to do. And I actually broke. this get that out of the way on them I actually broke this bar across here and I've used what I've used to do it I've snapped it in the middle and snapped it off each end and new mini Dremel I got yesterday I put it to test and about a one milli half milli drill something like that I've drilled down the centre of the posts each way and put a little bit of brass rod in the middle and then super glued it and baking soldered it then super glued and baking soldered it back onto the tilting back mechanism I've already done the drilling and tapping as can be properly seen on this bit I've also today received taps I've ordered I've also ordered a turntable for displaying the models on before and after because I've got a few in the line though I'm going to be doing a few part way throughs to catch up so may take a little while to catch up with you oh bloody hell revel paint it's mega thick that's going to take a lot of thinning what I'm going to do I'm going to be painting the rear part silver I had I had played with polishing it but part of it has been like, how do you say, oxidising so I thought it would be better rather than polished and risking oxidising coming back I thought it would be better in paint so paint it is, ta-da! yeah so solution was made really when I saw the oxidizing now then I'll get a bigger brush for mixing that in Now hopefully it will mix good. I've never tried gravel weight turps so it's looking like it's mixing okay. I won't particularly say that's the consistency of milk, I'd say it's more like the urine if I'm honest. So I'll get the silver again and get another amount of it out because it looks like it's staying mixed so it looks like it will be compatible funny funny paint travel with it the good quality the enamels like umbrals but they're really really thick which isn't a bad thing because once you've diluted them well thin them either way it mounts to the same you're thinning them with something like diluting normally means with water I suppose but if it's paint with thinner it's diluted to my mind but anyway I'm just waffling
let's see how this goes on or even if it goes on depends how it's mixed it looks like it has oops one thing I forgot putting the dreaded compressor on you dipstick I've actually given it a good rubbing down yesterday in a Dremelin with a wire wheel, so it's had good prep. There's actually some shine coming to silver now. What I did there, I blew a little bit too pain, much paint on, and it ran. So I'm just blowing her onto it to dry the thinners out of it, so it's not a big noticeable bit. I think this is going to dry matty anyway, so I think what this will get will be a coat of clear afterwards. to remedy the shine issues. I don't make you shine. <laughs> Takes me back that then to Uncle Albert in only fools and horses when he said I speak German to the girl in the pub and he went up and went what is your name <laughs> they just like, can't ride it like that today they probably won't get away with it either today I think society's worse for the human I Totally, a lot of people have totally lost the sense of human now. Right, so I think that covers that. I think we've got enough of a covering on it to be happy enough. Because it wasn't a hugely shiny one to begin with, so as long as it's a nice covering and it looks tidy I'm having that as one down right so the next colour I'm going to have to mix a bit right I'm after a grey colour next basically for the bin at the back I've got a light grey here uh, Take a bit out. Right, so now I'm adding a bit of. It's actually gone metal, but close enough. It'll do for making a 
dark a grey. I'm happy enough with that. It's not it's not gonna be an exact spawn match but I'm happy enough with what I've done. Right, so I'm just using normal turpentine substitute in my home bra. I use it for my oil painting and modelling so I don't see the point in really them selling you very similar stuff in a tin for £5 when I can get a litre of well, 750ml bottle for about a quid just think it's a bit madness Paying that sort of price for a enamel thinner. Here's a bit to see how much I like this new Dremel for polishing. For this one, starting off with Solvo Water Sol as per. Put it on the faster speed because it's metal. There's no danger of really melting metal. There we are. That's a good part about this. It puts out if you put too much strain on. I have a faster one and that was just a hooligan. In a word, couldn't sauce out a finer hooligan.
I don't think he'd actually show us it on this badge in here. I think it'd be too small anyway for you to see. But these trucks were actually known as the Ford D, D series of trucks and custom cabs. They used to have a custom cab badge on it, on doors usually. In a nutshell, as Marty says, I'm happy with that. Now then, here comes the real test what this was bought for. Which is screens. I'll start with a little bit of solve on a slow speed. Unfortunately this screen has little cracks in it. But I'm running with what I've got. Thing to be honest, I can afford to go on next speed. As my old Dremel were far faster than the slow speed on this. Compared to me old Dremel, Dremel, that is heaven. Still got me old Dremel because it's a bit of a thug of a thing, and it'll be good for if I decide to do customs, cutting bodies down and stuff. And it'll still be good for drilling and etc. But. As for delicate stuff like this, it's a bit of an hooligan. But it has served me well in learning the craft initially. When I first started off, it was good for a lot of things. I think I had one before it, a little bit of a more expensive one and I think with hindsight it may have been a little bit better but hey well, I'm not dwelling on it it broke down and that was it so right so now I'll go on to a bit of wax on it because I reckon that's got rid of most of the scratches. I'll go for a bit of a shine now. And that is shining up absolutely beautiful. Anyway, don't know whether folks can get that, but I'm more than a little happy with that. So we've got to the point we're near ready to rock and put it back together. As can be seen here, it's mostly back together. The last thing to do is wait till it's fully cured 
then give it last little bit of a clean up and a polish. Um, well, actually, first things first is to put the suspension unit back in, which I forgot. I'll have to straighten that and put the pin in across the back for this then last couple of bits and bobs with it and do a final reveal here we see him out on the road again and collecting bins at the local goods shed reversing round uh, to make his way back on his route